Hello and welcome back to Eatement with Tunes, proudly sponsored by VapidoCity.com. Another fantastic episode for you, and I'm glad you tuned in. This is your girl, T to the U to the N E S. And you know what? Straight up to the entertainment segment. Stay tuned, stay connected, don't go nowhere. Starting with the entertainment industry now, this is coming from Whiskey as he replies female fan who asked if he can ever make a bad song. Do you know you're asking such a question? Starboy, where's the where's the whiskey? <laughs> All right, what does he say? The music star recently released a new track with DJ Tunes titled "Cool Me Down," and it has gotten a lot of positive reactions from his fans on social media. Just recently, one of the female fans identified as Beiges took to Twitter how she was impressed by the song Whiskey dropped. It's in Tosha. And then Beiges tweeted, I ask again, nine years later, can you make a bad song at Whiskey Dio? Hashtag cool me down. Interestingly, the Joe Row crooner replied the fan, according to the hitmaker, he can never make a bad song. So let me ask you, does it sound like Whiskey is bragging or he actually cannot make a bad song? Drop your comments below. I would love to hear from you. Moving on to Big Brother Ninja, I want you that I will always put in a spice of this reality show in my episode. I know you love it too, baby, because I cannot be the only one sitting in front of my TV watching Big Brother Ninja Season 5. I feel like this season has variety of interesting housemates and they are doing well. Anyways, coming from the house, BB Ninja goes on break after Kid Wire reviewed how connection got him into the house. That's good, that's good. Somebody has said what he shouldn't say. Billionaire son and BB Ninja 2020 housemate Kid Wire may have moved. He may have jabber, he may have said the things he's not supposed to say without even knowing it following his recent remarks in the house. Now, he has gone to say something. All right, let's go on. How about after their Thursday night presentation, Kid Wire was seen having a conversation about getting on the show with some of the housemates, including Tonali Badge in the garden. So in the garden of Eden, he decided to fall. He decided to say things, decided to explode. All right. Kidwire's statement has caused quite a reaction online. Kidwire can be heard saying he was encouraged by friends to audition for 2019 edition, but he felt it was too big for the show. However, he later realized that the platform was actually huge. <laughs> now, following up, come and hear the bomb explosion. He said, and that he could easily get in since he had the connections. The early seconds after he said this, the show went on a commercial break, denying viewers of more of the juicy and interesting information Kidwire was unknowingly feeding us. Because I took my remote, I'm like, what's going on? Multi choice, what are you people doing? What's going on? Stop it. Stop it. Kill the adverts. Kill the adverts. Show Kidwire. <laughs> Due to Kidwire's claims, fans have been dragging the show organizers on Twitter for trying to hide the secret. So I'm just going to be reading three tweets from Twitter, the Savage Kings and Queens, so we don't sleep on here because we could. So it once says Kidwire just confirmed it, like he just nailed it. In quotes, he said, I knew I could get in because I have connects. <laughs> Look at that. Big brother, like by connection, I keep saying it. I just pity the majority where being good they stand on that song for the past years. Twitter says, so Biggie decided to advertise and even after the advertisement, is the us of the moment and gist going on in the courtyard. Because Kidwire is about to expose multi-choice, Ebuka and Biggie about the way he used connections to get into the house. Kobulu, we are watching. It's okay, you should continue. So three says laughing my ass out, Kidwire just cast a big brother on how he got into the house via connection. I thought it was free and fair. Me too. Oh. I thought it was free and fair. Anyways, nothing is free and fair in Nigeria. Forget it. That's my thoughts. And that's what I know. Take it or take it. <laughs> okay, Kidwire is in trouble with Big Brother because I feel the guy will soon be evicted. Whatever your vote or whatever it is, Big Brother will start to kick him out. Multi Child's guards protect their brand. Duh. Now moving to Gambia. Hey, moving to Gambia. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking you to Gambia. Are you following? All right. Coming from this female celebrity with a missing rib. She's very tiny. She has a tiny waist. Princess Shingo accepts applications from lesbians says she's tired of men. Princess Shingo said she has good taste in women suggesting that she is a bisexual and sort of and whatever she wants to be she's just out there looking for women and that any woman who wants to date her has to be more beautiful and hotter than her she also indicated that a new partner would need shoot butts as hers and assured that she would take good care of her yes because she has a tiny waist she has huge butts so the partners would have to be bigger <laughs> i have good taste in women who she quoted you must be finer and hotter than me for me to date you sending applications ladies no men allowed i'm tired of y'all my next girlfriend has to be hot fattest and trust me i'm gonna spoil you like rotten that was what she said so 
This is for you people that like women to women. This one is for you lesbians out there. I'm not judging no one. Princess is sexy and hot. Unfortunately, she has made a public call. So you can send in your DMs if you know you are hotter and finer. As for me, I deal with men. But no man should send me DM before my DM will explode. You know, I'm somebody of a fine species. Making progress to the music segment with great joy in my heart. I'm glad to announce to you that music is life. Ignore this thing. It likes to dance. I don't know. Anyways, let's get it. No place for argument. Music is life. Listen to music, you dance like this window blind. <laughs> I got tracks of few music from people. Funny enough, they were recommended by friends and family. I even got one right here on Vabro City from Mr. DJ. Shout out to you, bro. Mr. DJ gave me music. Moving on to the top five most played songs of the week. Starting from the one Mr. DJ recommended. Quite good, you know. So I placed it on my number five. Ordinary People by Q-Dot, Apala, and Cobans. Number four is Of Le 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 Of Lagos by Mayo Kun. Number three is Vision 2020 by Bella Shmuda. We went to the street and we came back to number two. Ada, Ada, Iele, Ada, Ada, eh, hey, I don't find person to marry. Hey, Ada by Keys Daniel. And up to my number one is Betty Butter by Mayo Kun featuring Davido. Good vibes, good music. Mayo Kun made my list twice. The guy deserves it because he's good and talented like you. Yo, guy got some bars, he got some hits, and he's lit. So you know what you can do for me? You can also recommend good music for me here on Vapro City or Facebook or YouTube. I am everywhere and I see everything. we hit the game segment so amazing literally i found that a lot of people know much about vapero city and i was like wow that is pretty much amazing so furthermore my questions will evolve from the website vaporocity.com so you know what to do go and familiarize yourself with the website <laughs> and let's get started here goes my question for the game goes to us what is the money prize given to the mayor of the city and when is the mayor of the city announced is it weekly or monthly i am not repeating myself if you didn't hear that just slide back and rewatch and replay because it all comes to very simple if you visit the website a lot this question would be a bonus for you to get my goodies if you can't even remember you can tag your friend and you guys win the goodies together good luck announcing my winner from the previous episode you got the answer correctly and it was the first person on all of the platforms Woo, that was brilliant. This one's saying they're always glued to the city, awaiting, always awake and a lot. Most people got the answer right, by the way. But my winner goes to Willie Pet from Lagos, Nigeria. Well done, boy. You are now liable to get goodies from me. Congratulations, Willie Pet, on winning this game. Segment in the last episode. Kindly identify yourself in the comment section and claim your goodies. DM here right on Vabro City. Keep winning, guys. Always be out allowed to watch my last episode on YouTube, Vabro City, Facebook, and drop your answer. Good luck with that. And now we have finally come to the end of this episode. It's been fun all the way watching me and chilling. You know, I always say I love you so much. Thanks for your support so far. I love you too, baby. Thank you so much for liking, for commenting, for all of these things you do for me. And for winning my goodies. I have to say thank you always. <laughs> always remember to subscribe to Vibra City Arena. Hit the like button, drop your comments, share, and enjoy the videos always. Remember to tag your friends on Vibra City Facebook, YouTube. Tell them how much you enjoyed watching the show and you do not Really want them to miss it so tag all of them tag each and every one of them tell them it is tunes and she's fun this show is proudly sponsored by vapor city so do well to keep visiting the social entertainment city vapor city.com and the good thing is if you are active and effective you might one day become the mayor of the city i keep telling you that so what are you waiting for my body go on to www.vaporocity.com and you know, Eat and Men's show comes up every Saturday, so stay tuned and stay connected. I see they go, your girl, T to the U to the NES, Colin from Lagos, Nigeria, is signing out, giving you peace out. <laughs>